Hey guys, it's Kay Jones here, and I'm going to be doing one of my life guides, but it's going to be on cars today, which is kind of funny. But I've been having a lot of issues with my car lately, and a lot of that stuff you can do in your own, like transmission fluid and air filters. And today it's going to be on changing the engine air filter on a 2012 Chevy Cruze. You can do... Um, Pretty much this guide is going to go all the way up to 2016 engine air filters for Chevy Cruises. They haven't changed that much. If you come up close here, um, you're going to be seeing these bolts that I'm untying. Um, you may want to wait for the car to cool down, but there's going to be bolts on each side here. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six. Six on my car. The 2016 may have more or less, but basically you're going to lift this up. You probably want to drill though is a lot quicker, but I, we don't have one. So I just am using this currently. But yeah, basically, if cleaning the air filter for the Chevy Cruze is recommended every 45,000 miles. I'm at like 70,000, so I'm like really behind schedule. Uh, there's no need to pay anyone to do this because you can buy these air filters from like AutoZone for 15 bucks. And um, basically, uh, you go ahead and you can just replace it yourself. And the great thing about changing it yourself is that you don't have to pay for the labor. And the next thing is that it's really important because it keeps your engine clean. And oh my gosh, this screw stinks. But yeah, it keeps your engine clean. And a lot of problems that people have with their engine is just because they don't replace their air filter. And they end up spending thousands of dollars just to replace their, uh, their engine because they didn't keep up with regular maintenance. Okay, guys, this is my old engine filter in about almost 70,000 miles. We're going to go ahead and take it out. Pretty nasty. Like I said, you're supposed to do it every um, 45,000 miles. We're going to go ahead and replace it with the new one. I'll show you all what the new one's going to be. But also, you can see a bunch of debris in here, like these leaves and dust. Um, what you're going to want to do is take that all out and go ahead and get a vacuum from inside. Um, also, this is connected to a tube. Don't worry much about that. You just lift it up. And you don't need to take the screws all the way out. You just need to loosen them up. But yeah, go ahead and get a vacuum. Get all this junk out of here. Because that can also get into your engine and cause a lot of problems. I'm going to show you what kind of air filter I bought for the Chevy Cruze 2012. Okay. So I bought the STP. And then with the serial number is the SA10990. And it looks like, I think I bought it for 15 bucks, not including tax. So it looks like that. You can see a huge difference between the dirty one and clean one. I have no idea why it has that green gunk, though. But yeah, pretty cheap. And it doesn't have to be exactly the same brand, but there's multiple air filters that would work for this car. At AutoZone, they'll tell you what you need. And so you just tell them what kind of car you have, and they'll let you know. So now, basically, I'm just going to screw everything back in, and I'm not going to show that in the video because that would take a long time, but thanks for watching, guys, and I hope that helped y'all out. All you got to do is screw it back in and rechange it every 45,000 miles. Thanks, guys.